Hello, my name's Clinton and I'm here at the shop with Nicole and Taylor. Today, this video is for donations. We need donations from people like you. We need stuff that isn't really expensive, but it's stuff that we go through quite a lot of. We need stuff as such as uh, safety glasses, um, respirator filters or respirators. We need um, gloves. Uh, we need some of the consumables for some of the machinery that we use. Um, and, and also we need some tools. If y'all have used or old or tools that the cord might be bad on that we can fix here at the shop, that's all projects that we can get started with these girls. Um, we have two main girls here and we have two avenues that we're gonna do here at the shop. One is gonna be for majority of kids, or for kids that are in the masses, so 10 to 20 kids where their parents come out and we do projects with them. That's one aspect, that's not what we're talking about today. Another aspect we're talking about is with Taylor and Nicole. Taylor and Nicole are gonna start a YouTube channel called Homeschool Rocks. Homeschool Rocks is going to record and archive everything that these kids have done from 10 years old on. Taylor's nine years old and Nicole is 10. So we're gonna show them how to work with their hands and we're gonna teach them how to do projects. So we're going to we're going to really work on everything from the conceptual stage, the design, to the ideas that we talk about, all the way through the uh, material, going and getting the material, and finding out what's the best way to use our material and how to you know create as least waste as possible, all the way to starting the project, being safe, and completing the project, and enjoying what we enjoy what we've created. That is very important to us. Nicole has been around tools most of her life. Taylor, she's a little bit newer, but she's, get, she's getting acclimated very quickly. Um, like I said, this video is for donations. We need donations. We've already gotten donations from some of the local people around here, and we're in talks with other companies right now. Donations from you know businesses and corporations and local people is is what's going to help us do bigger and better and you know more kid involved with different and more kids projects. So that's basically we had a request for a video introducing the kids and some of the projects that we've done already, and that's what this is all about. I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to go around and show some of the projects that we've already done. Some of them with Taylor and Nicole have done together. Some of them it's just been you know one on one, and we'll go from there. Let me grab the camera real quick. First project is is what we're standing on. Uh, well, we had the camera sitting on, and that is what is that, Nicole? That is a rocket stove. Rocket stove. Tell me how it works. You put fuel or wood in here and have it burn. And once it heats up, usually there's like a vortex of the fire and that usually makes it sound like a rocket. Right. That creates a draw from the air, the air intake here. And our fuel or our, our you know material, anything wood or whatever, um, anything that goes in there that can combust goes in there feeds it and then it creates and creates a draw the rocket stove is sitting on a welding table the welding table what is this right here Taylor that is a Samsung well that is an angle grinder that is a four and a half inch angle grinder good 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 try Taylor has not had the opportunity to use the angle grinder yet but she will in the coming uh, days weeks and months to come especially once it cools down here in the middle of Georgia um, we built that, Nicole and I built that uh, from design to making it. We also built it with, uh, you know, out of some steel that we got from the steel yard scrap pieces. And I believe the Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Metal Supermarket donated that metal to us. And thank you to the Atlanta uh, Metal Supermarket. Behind that is metal that came from Metro Steel in Snellville, Georgia. Nicole's going to pull that thing back we got that yesterday from and we got all that for a very 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 good price and you know Tom up there at Metro Steel he, he's definitely on board with helping the kids out and we greatly appreciate everything that Tom has done and and we look forward to working closely with him in the future um, over here Taylor why don't you show everybody the sandblaster the sandblaster is, um, it also has consumables in it. It has sand. Sand is in the hopper um, down below. Very good. And it basically takes air, it draws it through a tube and shoves sand out of a gun and then it blasts it on the material and it, you know, you can do wood or metal 
and it cleans it off so that you can get ready to paint. Uh, right here in the middle of the way is the um, engine hoist that we have, and that's just for picking up heavier materials so we don't use our backs as much as we should need to. Another project that we have started is these, this brake drum right here. The brake drum, we made a stand out of it for our bench grinder. So, that, you know, it's its own designated area. Um, Nicole and I worked on that a couple weekends ago. It has our uh, bench grinder and our um, drill press on it. Behind that, you can also see another, it's a bigger ang angle grinder, and some of the other consumables that we use here at the shop. The uh, discs, that they wear out quite quickly. Um, you know, if you can donate stuff, gift cards to Home Depot, we can go get more of this so that we can cut more metal or cut wood. We, you know, we use wood um, skill, circular saws and drills also. Over here is the um, bandsaw. That is a four foot bandsaw and it, it helps us cut the metal straight and you know, it, it works pretty well for what, for its age. Like I said, some of the material, some of the tools we have is older, are older. Some of it mm, is newer equipment. We'll get to the newer equipment here in a minute. This right here is Nicole's toolbox. Now it looks like uh, messed up, a hot mess right now, but it's what well, we haven't had chance to build shelves yet. And we're working on that. We're also working on finding the right location for the right tools. And some of the tools we brought over from the, from the other location, we've just kind of piled up and put into one area. You can see we have pneumatic tools and hammers and screwdrivers and it's, you know, it's where it needs to be for right now. So we can get it. Nicole and Taylor, if you step off to the side a little bit, uh, that's another table. We have our powder coating stuff here. Now when stuff come, when metal comes out and the girls want to work on say a brake caliber and they want to make it look good, we're going to start powder coating. Uh, all that came from Eastwood. Uh, Eastwood's powder coating and their supplies definitely are top notch and high quality. You got a circular saw up there and some tape measures. Definitely we can use all the tape measures we can get. So, you know, we're always needing tape measures. We've got some whiteboard that we're going to use for our designs, our ideas, what we're talking about for the day and our classroom time, that's definitely what, you know, something that we're going to put up and start using. There's the motorcycle right there. The girls are loving riding that. This right here is the safety board that Taylor and Nicole worked on last week. They, we spent about two hours working on that. They helped cut and screw the wood together. Basically, Nicole, explain what the safety board's about. The safety board is about keeping all of our safety equipment things we may need here at the shop. Boots, maybe some overalls, a hat, safety supplies, and other things such as that. Okay, Taylor, show us where, where do you think the uh, safety glasses ought to go on that board? So I think that we're going, we should put dowels right here and then we can hang our safety glasses. Very good, very good. And then put stuff on the shelf, anything that you may have in your pocket in the shelf, and you know, maybe a hook down below so our overalls can hang. Over here in the corner, we have a parts washer to where we can wash off some of the material. Um, you know, Harbor Freight Special, but it works just fine. Right here is our plasma torch. Uh, the plasma torch also has consumables in it. it. It takes material on the end, the tip right there, and that tip, um, you know, they wear out and we have to replace them every so often so that we can keep the plasma torch. And for those that don't know, the plasma torch helps, helps us cut metal, you know, if we're trying to do not as precise cuts, but it's something that's very quick and easy to get some metal to separate. Over here, this is our newest and truest, uh, the welder that we just got from Lincoln Electric. Lincoln Electric has, makes fine, fine equipment. And, you know, when we were shopping around, Lincoln was one of the, you know, the oldest company and also the company that we wanted to go with when we started supplying the shop with uh with welders. So this is the 180 HD weld pack and this weld pack, it does MIG and also flux core. It is a 230 volt system. Um, they have a couple other variants of this 180, but we got the one that's just 230. It's MIG, so it uses the argon CO2 gas uh, mixture to, and that just creates a shield around the weld to, you know, to keep out the impurities while you're welding. Along with the helmet. The helmet, can you get it off there, Nicole? Ah, uh, maybe not. Let me help. Okay. The helmet, um, go ahead and put that on. Very good. Come over here and stand over here. The helmet is, um, you know, it's something that they're quite expensive. And the more we have, the better we can, you know, do classes and show the kids how to, um, how to weld. So it's definitely, this one fits their head quite nice. It's a cheaper one. I think we got it off of eBay, but definitely something that we need. Um, I'm going to set the camera back up. 
and we'll talk a little bit from there. Go ahead and set it up right here. Kneel down. Y'all, thank you for watching. We need, we need donations. We need donations to help this place run. And uh, Taylor and Nicole, they're, they're good girls. They're smart girls. There's a lot of smart kids around here that just need an opportunity to work with their hands. And that's what, that's what I'm here for. I want to help them learn how to work with their hands and, and, and know how to use tools. And you know what? Every engineer and architect, they started by wanting to build and construct stuff. And that's what I'm here for, getting them started at an early age to teach them how to, to design, how to, to fabricate, why materials work together, why materials, materials don't work together. Also the safety equipment and what's safe and what's not safe. We want to keep these kids safe. So below will be my contact information. If you can help in any way possible, whether it's um, safety equipment, um, tools, old tools that I, all I got to do is replace some stuff in, brushes or uh, you know, cordage. Uh, thank you for anything you can do. If it's money that you can give and you want to take us to Home Depot to get some stuff, we appreciate that also. We're not asking for money. Any, any old tools would be better than money any day of the week. So thank you for uh, watching this video. It's going on 10 or 11, 12 minutes right now. And um, if it wasn't for y'all, it would be very difficult for us to keep going. Once again, thank you. Girls say thank you. Thank you. And y'all have a great day.